Joseph Maite. He made the Olympic final in 2016, finishing in six. This is Reese Prescott, who won on the last Diamond League stop in Shanghai in 10.04. Here's lane three, Su Bing Qian. Only four men have ever run faster than he has indoor at 60 meters. He was second to Reese Prescott just to his left at the Shanghai Diamond League at home. Christian Coleman will occupy lane four. He got the silver ahead of Usain Bolt and behind Justin Gatlin at last year's World Championships and then had two world records and the three fastest 60 meter performances ever indoors this winter. Ronnie Baker is number three all-time in the 60-meter dash. His best is 9.97. He won last year here at the pre-classic in 9.8 seconds with an illegal wind of 2.4 seconds, 2.4 meters per second. Next to him, CJ Uja, who made the Olympic semifinals in the 100. His PR is 9.96. He has the world championship gold with the British 4x1. And next to him, Isaiah Young, better at 200. He made the finals at last year's World Championship in the 200, finishing in eighth. But he has run 9.97. He won the 100 at the Drake Relays earlier this year. And on the outside, Gavin Smelly, 10.01 last weekend. If he can improve on that form, he could be a factor here. But the eyes of the world, Lee, are going to be on Christian Coleman. He ran 9.82 to set the collegiate record here last year, winning the NCAA title at both 100 and 200. And his words yesterday were, I just have to execute a clean race and get the victory. He was scheduled to do the 200 as well, which a lot of people were excited about seeing a showdown between him and Noah Lyles. He said, I had a little twinge in my hamstring and my team thought at best I just focus on the 100. And in this race, in three, four, and five, are three of the best starters in the world, if not the three best. You're looking at the fastest man in the world ever to 60 in lane four. Ronnie Baker is number three all time, and Su Bing Qian is number five all time. So we expect the men in the middle of the race to get out well. The question is, how do they handle the second part of the race? Past 60 meters to the finish. China's Su, by the way, this is the place where he first broke the 10-second barrier. He says this is his good luck track. Don't be surprised if Su causes an, up, uh, an upset. It wouldn't surprise me, not the way he's been running. Really only a bad lean in Shanghai, I think, cost him the race to Prescott. He will start well, and he will make sure that Christian Coleman is challenged early. Nike men's 100 meters. What kind of a start did Christian Coleman get? Fairly even with Ronnie Baker. Now Coleman starts to extend, but Baker's staying with him. Ronnie Baker's going to do it in back-to-back -back years here at the Prefontaine Classic. 9.77. The wind is illegal at 2.4. 9.78 officially now. But Christian Coleman looked good for 60 and then got passed by Ronnie Baker. This is his first race. This is his first race for Christian Coleman. But a lot of people who watched him run indoors wondered about what he would look like outdoors. Here is Christian Coleman in four. We know he's going to start well. This is Ronnie Baker next to him. Ronnie Baker did not get out to the sort of start that Christian Coleman did. But Ronnie Baker has run more races this year, and he eases right by Christian Coleman. That really wasn't close at the end. And in fact, Prescott came up for third, so Coleman has to settle for the silver in his first 100-meter race of the year. But this race was all Ronnie Baker from about 50 meters to the finish line in 978. And maybe if we keep recent form in mind as well, Ronnie Baker won just last weekend in Kingston, Jamaica in 10 flat. He goes 978 here at the pre-classic. Ronnie Baker over Christian Coleman. Let's join Lewis Johnson with the top two. What a race, Lewis. Uh, what a race. And so, Ronnie, there you were with about 30 meters to go and you make the move and take the lead. Explain that effort. Um, I really just try to stay relaxed. You know, Christmas to the left of me. We're definitely pushing each other. My mindset was just try to stay relaxed and run through the line. And that's what I did. So this meet's been great for me the past few years, kind of where I start to get a little rhythm. And so I'm happy. Christian, to you, I know you're expecting big things. You had a big time here last year at the NCAAs. Where are you right now? Uh, I mean, I feel pretty good. My first race of the year. Uh, I was just recovering from, you know, tweaking some of my leg a little bit. So I felt pretty good about the race. And uh, I'm excited about the rest of the season so far. All right, Christian. Ronnie, thanks, guys.
Terrific staff. Next up, it's men's steeplechase, where American hero Evan Jager will feature.